Do you know about the gay and lesbian kingdom of the Coral Sea Islands? You need to. The queer liberation movement is full of brilliant schemes to improve the lives of LGBTQ plus people. But in Australia, a group of LGBTQ plus activists actually established their own micronation to protest the government's refusal to recognize same-sex marriage. Back in 2004, the Australian government amended the Marriage Act to prevent same-sex couples who married overseas in places like Canada to have their marriage recognized in Australia. So in protest, a group of activists decided to act on an international law that says oppressed people of overseas territories have a right to self-government and self-determination and so establish their own independent state in the Coral Sea Islands, which are an external territory of Australia. On June 14, 2004, these activists sailed the good ship, the Gay Flower, to Cato Island in the Coral Sea, where Emperor Dale Parker Anderson erected the rainbow flag and declared the gay and lesbian kingdom of the Coral Sea Islands independent from Australia. A site on Cato Island was claimed as the Micronation's capital and named Heaven after a London nightclub and I Am What I Am was established as the kingdom's national anthem. They even had their own official stamps. By September, the gay and lesbian kingdom Kingdom of the Coral Sea Islands had officially declared war on Australia. The kingdom remained uninhabited, but during its reign, any gay or lesbian person was immediately eligible for citizenship. No one took it up really, perhaps due to the limited access to fresh water. The kingdom remained until 2017 when Australia voted yes to same-sex marriage, whereupon it was no longer needed. But in the same year, Conservative Senator Erica Betts took issue with the rainbow flag in Parliament, reminding everyone that Parliament House should not be displaying the flags of hostile nations. I guess we really did declare war. 